How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a classic American craft beer. In fact, the first ever canned craft beer in America. Pretty cool stuff. Today's beer is going to be Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues Brewery out in Longmont, Colorado. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. I have had this beer before, but like years and years ago. I've not been able to find it in Canada a whole bunch. Um, I think it was here a little bit for a while. But um, yeah, I love their uh, 10 Fitty. I think I reviewed that like years ago. And uh, yeah, I really love that beer. I um, still need to try the Barrel Age 10 Fitty. That sounds really good. But uh, yeah, on to the Dale's Pale Ale. Let's get a crack poured and see how it is. All right, looks like a classic American Pale Ale. Sweet. Oh, might have a little bit of overflow there. But yeah, gonna say something, loving the can art. Looks very punk, slightly like a 80s metal kind of uh, cassette uh, sleeve kind of drawings on there. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, the appearance on this beer, uh, nice and carbonated, a nice copper, uh, amber kind of color, um, huge head on it, as y'all saw. Um, granted, I wasn't trying very hard to pour it, but uh, yeah, really beautiful looking beer. Off-white, bone-colored kind of head. Very fluffy, very pillowy head on this beer. Looks really inviting. Let's give it a sniff, shall we? Yeah, it's that classic pine, slightly uh, citrusy. You get a maybe a bit of stone fruit. Lots of uh, bready, slightly caramel bready kind of malts. Smells sweet. Let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, tastes like a pale ale. Um, this is like, I don't know how long it's been brewed, but it is an old uh, kind of old school kind of IPA, you know, or pale ale, sorry. Um, so you get that like floral citrus, the citrus peel kind of like really nice and slightly bitter kind of uh, grapefruit peel, orange peel kind of thing. Um, yeah, some biscuity, bready kind of malt, stuff like that going on. Uh, really good classic pale ale. This is something you could drink tons and tons of. Very crushable for its strength. Yeah, given given this blind, I would think it was like a session kind of pale ale, like four percentish, four percentage, right around there. Uh, Five percent maybe. Six and a half, this is deadly. It's gonna get you where you need to be, you know? So what better advertisement than that? Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, this is an awesome beer. It's nothing you haven't tried before, um, but it's an American classic. It's something definitely worth trying if you haven't, but I'm guessing most people watching this video have. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, classic, just West Coast style kind of pale ale. I can't really fault it for anything. It's crisp, light, easy drinking. Uh, super refreshing. This would be an awesome summer day uh, kind of beer, but as you guys can see uh, out here in Canada, not exactly summer, kind of eh. But yeah, there we go. As a rating on this beer, I'm gonna go 30 or 30 uh, 90 90 I don't know well, as a pale ale, it's hundreds, you know, hundreds. Uh, I'll go like 93, 94 on this beer. It's sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. I want like a 12 pack of these for the weekend, you know, sweet stuff. So check it out. Drink more of it if you have had it. Um, support local if you're local to it. Craft beer. Support craft beer in general. Cheers, everybody.